books, no television can tell you about you guys, you know. Right. So, as a, I, I, I just need more information about uh, the back in the day uh, NASCAR. That's more more interested than current, you know. I think it's more interesting na old old school NASCAR than it is to now, but you know. <laughs> well, I think uh, you know, back uh, talking about back in the day, mm -hmm. uh, the racing I think was more sincere, mm -hmm. more true. To the fact that you know, if a guy roughed you up, you rough him back. Mm -hmm. You know, the the drivers policed herself. They didn't need NASCAR to roll over and call you to the to the uh, trailer mm -hmm. to give you a lecture. Mm -hmm. um, NASCAR just had kind of off keep hands off approach, and uh, we never really had no problem because uh, if uh, somebody stuck somebody in the fence. One race, you might as well just bring the worst car you got to the next race because you were going to go through the fence. You could yeah. bet on it. And uh, then if you didn't like that, if you wanted to get out of your car and settle it, you'd do that too. <laughs> well, now, you know, you, you, it's NASCAR slap your hands if you spit in the floor, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And that's the difference, I think. It, uh, don't pass here and don't pass there. And you... Uh, your body, you know, you you bend his door, you bend this. Now, you know, that's racing. So, I think that's what probably one of the biggest things fans miss. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever been called to the trailer for anything you've done wrong? I mean, I don't think he did anything wrong, but you ever been called to the trailer? Oh yeah, really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, many times. Uh, the biggest thing was NASCAR at uh, at uh, Pocono, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what year it was. It was one of the years that uh, the government, you know, established a 55 mile an hour speed limit mm -hmm. all over the country. Yeah, oh yeah. Save gas. Mm hmm And uh, they had a 40 car field at Pocono. Mm hmm Was uh, and it was only four car, 40 cars that showed up. Mm hmm So everybody was there was locked in, qualified, and. Uh, I got, and you had to, you know, back then we drew for positions, same as do now, mm -hmm. as what's your position you're going to go out in. Well, if you miss it, you know, go through a tech, and you, something's wrong, and you have to go to the end of the line, then you miss your shot at qualifying. Mm -hmm. But back then they had two days of qualifying. Mm -hmm. So you just go back and regroup and qualify the next day. And I was so happy to be behind the Wood Brothers car going through tech, and, uh, and the clearance stick didn't clear the Wood Brothers, so they pushed it off to the side, working on it. <clears throat> I come up there, and mine didn't clear, so I was going to push mine off to the side. And then Joe Gazaway, uh, who was one of the uh, the tech guys at that time, uh, was a ex-Marine, and he acted like it at times, and <laughs> told me I had to go to the end of the line. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, what about the Wood Brothers? They, in front of, they pushed their car back in right in front of me, and it was clear that time, and away they went. Mm -hmm. And try to explain to them, well, you know, we, if we go to the rear, we won't be able to qualify. We'll miss our spot. Mm -hmm. He ain't care. You're going to the end. I said, okay, I just took it and put it in. You put it ahead and put it back in the stall. Mm -hmm. And Harry Hyde, everybody got to remember Harry Hyde. Mm -hmm. Harry Hyde at the time, uh, we didn't have all these uh, calculators and everything that they got now, you know, that uh, he always had a slide rule with him. Mm -hmm. And I was I was back there uh, complaining and going about what they did to me. And, and uh, he said, well, I'll tell you how. I said, if I, I made the comment, I'd like to qualify tomorrow at 55 mile an hour. <laughs> and he said, well, I'll tell you how you can do it. And he got his slide rule out and got the size of the tire and what gear I was pulling and and uh, that sort of thing and give me I forget what the RPM was. He said you you run this RPM right here all the way around the racetrack and you'll run 55 mile an hour. <laughs> I said okay. Mm -hmm. So did and first lap was uh, 55.2. <laughs> And then the second lap was like 55 almost on the nose. Wow. And uh, uh, NASCAR didn't think that was a bit funny. <laughs> if you ever been to Pocono, the flag stand is way up on the straightaway mm -hmm. compared to the last corner or the fourth corner you come off. Mm -hmm. And uh, the flagman, he was uh, 
waving, you know, being cute with the flag, you know, doing all these curly cues and all that mm. waving. And by the time I come off the corner, you know, you can't tell it like you see the car come around there. You don't know how fast it's going to it is down the straightaway. Mm -hmm. I come down through there 55 mile an hour, and poor guy like to broke his arm by waving that flag <laughs> before I got there. <laughs> so anyway, NASCAR got to find me $2,500. What? Yeah, for detrimental to racing. Oh, my goodness. And, uh, uh you know, uh, uh, everybody's having a good time with what they said that I was. Well, everybody was betting on what, whether I was going to do it or not, no doubt about that, but there was never any money exchanged. I didn't see none of it. Uh -huh. But uh, they did. They fined me $2,500. But I qualified at 55 mile an hour. <laughs> and if you notice now, qualifying, they always got a minimum speed. In other words, they got just enough race cars. Mm -hmm. You have to be within 10% of the pole. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm the one that started that deal. <laughs> you qualify the race at 55 miles an hour. And what did they, what did they say the day of the race? Oh, James Hilton qualified at 55 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, that's a two-point-something mile race, two-point-six or something mile racetrack. <laughs> well, it took forever to get around that track. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it definitely held up qualifying because it took me a while to do it. Wow. You run it two laps, you know. Uh-huh. Uh, you had qualifying two laps, you know, it took forever. <laughs> I bet the people behind you were waiting for you to get done. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Poor, poor guys sitting in the cars and mm. sweating and waiting to go, and there I am putting around. But it was fun. <laughs> that is great. That is great. Uh, I got to get going because I don't want to rack up my long distance bill because I'm calling South Carolina. And whenever uh, when I get the long distance bill, I'm like, oh. Darn, yep. I talked to James Hilton for an hour, <laughs> which is good, but, you know, whenever at the end of the day on the bill, you know, you know how it goes. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you. Yeah, anyways, thanks again. Uh, really, uh, I have, well, I'd love to have you on any time. A uh, big fan. Uh, I, like I said before, I'm really, this is, I'm honored to have you on. This is great. This is, I'm, this is a true legend right here. People need to know about this man right here, because if this man were to have factory backing, would have won championships, and it's a tragedy, really. But uh, thanks again, man. Uh, really, thanks. Thank you very much. Any right, time. You call right. me any time. Okay, cool. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye.